Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Wanted to um, address a comment that I had the other day when it comes to someone who's very mobile in the backswing and some ways that they can sort of gain control of the length of their swing. So I have this uh, rubber band here or exercise band to sort of highlight a couple things when it comes to the backswing and what, you know, depending on the person, what's the best for you. So again, with the Obsessed Golf Club, we're looking at what concepts do you have? Are they correct? What physically can you do? Are you doing things that match your body and the easiest way for you to move and your gifts? And then what drills are going to help you get better? So that's sort of the process that I take players through. Um, it's been really fun doing that. So going back to the exercise band here and a player that's hyper mobile, right? So if I grab, say, close to the ends of the band, do you see how the there's a little bit of slack in the band here, right? So it takes a pretty good amount of stretch for me to get that band to stretch out. So you can almost think about that as backswing, okay? So if I do this, put this under my foot here, and then thinking about, okay, if I'm grabbing at the top of this band and I go all the way to the top, it takes a while for it to feel like it's close to sort of max stretch, okay? So that's how I'm thinking about the backswing. Are we are we someone that has a lot of slack in the band? So when we go back, it takes a long time to feel stretch, or are we, if I grip down, someone that has not as much, I would say, stretch in their system, and as they go back right there, you can see how tight that band gets, okay? So very different swings based on, to me, what we're seeing from a stretch standpoint. So if I'm the player, based on the question that was asked, that has a lot of stretch in very high ranges of motion, so then we're gonna look at, okay, so how do we, one, add a, maybe a little bit of stiffness, so a little bit of maybe tighter arms, tighter hands, okay? And then also, as we go back, one way to start to create stretch sooner is starting to transition sooner. So transitioning sooner would basically be if I'm moving the, this foot this way, as I'm finishing the backswing, you can see how I start to increase that stretch. So you think about guys that have very dynamic swings. So as they go up, you can see them almost go the other direction. And then that's helping them create a little more stretch in that band. Where if I go the other end of the spectrum, someone that is very tight with their band. Well, for this player, I might have them feel like everything turns a little bit more because then I don't stretch that band as much early, right? So I'm obviously moving my foot for this, but that would be sort of highlighting. If I let my hips and everything create more rotation early, I haven't stretched my band right at the start of my swing versus someone who doesn't move anything and stretches their band a lot early. And if they don't have a lot to stretch, that could potentially become an issue in transition where everything gets pulled at the same time versus having a bit of separation there, right? So I think that's a good way to think about it. I hope that answered uh, the, the question for the person that asked it. Um, a good way to think about what's the right for you, figuring out, okay, am I someone that needs to let everything rotate pretty early or create a little more tension and then a little bit early, earlier separation and transition to find that right amount of stretch and energy for, for your swing. Hope this helps guys. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.